Welcome to our lecture online. So far we have three equations, actually two are the same equation and a third equation to utilize for refraction, for trying to find the images across refracting surfaces. So we have the general equation here. We have the equation when we have flat surfaces where r becomes infinite and therefore the right side becomes zero. So we have the simplified equation and we have the equation for the magnification of the image relative to the object. Now the question is, where did that equation come from? And we can actually derive it, and here we have an example of how to do that. So let's say we have an object in this region right here that has an index of refraction n1. Let's say we have another side of the boundary here, we have the index of refraction n2, and we're going to assume that n2 is larger than n1. So we're going to trace two rays. The first ray is going to be incident on the surface, perpendicular to the surface, so there's not going to be any change in direction. It continues straight through. This becomes like a ray of the surface right here, goes right to the center of curvature, and continues on. This distance right here is, of course, the radius of curvature. So we can call that R from there to there. Then we have a second ray that starts from the top of the object meets the surface at the vertex, goes across the boundary, and of course, since there's a larger index of fraction on the other side, it's going to bend towards the normal. Now notice that at some point, these two rays will meet right here. Where they meet, an image will be formed. H represents the height of the object. H prime represents the height of the image. Now we also are going to define two angles. Theta sub 1 is the angle between this ray and the optical axis right here, and theta sub 2 is equal to the optical axis, and the refracted ray that came here down to the vertex, so we'll call that theta sub 2. And of course, using the Snell's law, we can say that n1 times the sine of theta 1 must equal n2 times the sine of theta 2, because that's what we find across any array going across any boundary like that. And that's the equation right here. We can also define the height h and define the height of the image h prime in terms of the tangent of the angle theta 1 and theta 2. The tangent of theta 1 is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse, or no, I shouldn't say hypotenuse, the opposite side over the adjacent side. The adjacent side is going to be the object distance s. The height here is going to be h, so h over s is going to be equal to the tangent of theta sub 1. We can do the same over here for the image height. So we can say that the tangent of theta 2 is going to be the height here, h prime, over the distance, which is s prime, the image distance. However, we're going to put a negative in front of that because the image is upside down. And so when we think about magnification and images being upside down, we have to account for the negative sign that indicates that the image is upside down. So in this case, we need to add the negative sign since we're going to try to derive the magnification. Then we also know that for very small angles, and these are indeed very small angles, that the tangent of theta is approximately equal to the sine of theta. So we can take the Snell's law equation, instead of sine of theta, write tangent of theta, and then since tangent of theta is equal to h over s here, we can replace sine of theta by h over s, and over here the sine of theta can be replaced by the tangent of theta, which can be replaced by negative h prime over s prime, which is the tangent of theta sub 2. So now that we have this equation, we're now going to isolate h and h prime. We're going to move h down here, n2 down here, s prime up here. So when we come up here, we have minus h prime over h on the right side. On the left side, we have n1 times s prime by taking this s prime up here and taking the n2 down here. We have an n2 times s. Turning the equation around, put the negative sign over on this side. Turn the equation around, now we have h prime over h, which is the ratio of the height of the image versus the height of the object. And that, of course, is known as the magnification. So therefore, the magnification is equal to the negative n1s prime over n2s, which is the equation that we've been using all along, but now you know where the equation came from. So simply using Snell's law in the two rays, tracing them together, finding the ratio of the heights in terms of the tangents of those two angles, and there comes the equation, and that is how it's done.